Hey, I wanted to give you a quick update on the construction on our storage units in Broadway and Cleveland. Uh, we're getting down to crunch time as far as getting the actual buildings built. We're still running into an issue with the weather. Uh, that's been a really big challenge that we've had. The site, once we excavated it, you know, it's dirt everywhere and it looked really good. Um, but while we were getting the stormwater protection uh, and a handful of other things with the engineering done with the city and the county and all the parties involved uh, working on getting the permits approved. Uh, the weather's turned on us, which has just been a challenge. Um, so what was really beautiful has turned into a, a muddy mess, which as I mentioned in the last update has caused an issue with the concrete. And the builders want to build, we want to build, uh, but we can't build the buildings till the concrete pads are down. The concrete pads can't get down till the proof roll is completed. Um, and then even if we get, the proof roll completed, you still have to get the right weather without rain uh, to actually pour the concrete. And then if the temperatures get below freezing, which it's been kind of just above it and just below it, uh, that changes things for the concrete based on uh, they have to add some additives and some blankets and hot water and all sorts of other stuff as the water gets cold. Um, so the, the budget and the cost, it, being able to do it and the cost to do it changes day to day. Uh, so that's been a bit of a struggle uh, and Alex has been very helpful on the fire hydrant line. That's where we're um, uh, we're working to just get that ironed out so we can get the road cut in. We have to go down the hill. It's going to be really crazy. Uh, we're going to cut a road in down there and then we've got to bring the pipe up the hill. And the pipes, I think they're, I'll have to get the exact weight for you, but somewhere between four and 600 pounds a piece. Uh, so they're no joke. We're going to be uh, in an eight foot trench. Um, so it's treacherous for sure. And I'll do a separate videos on, on the hydrant line, but these are all the things kind of working all at once. And uh, we're just running out of time at the moment, which is, uh, is really gonna be a challenge because we have to get concrete poured. Well, the concrete guys are only available through the end of this upcoming week. So it's, um, we're really under the gun to get the concrete poured and to get the buildings built. Uh, additionally, we have to get some stone put in uh, around all the other concrete pads. Um, which that's going to go underneath where the asphalt will be. And we have to get the stone down so that when the trucks come in and out, you know, the concrete trucks, all the construction trucks, so they are not uh, just tearing up the dirt any further than it is. Because once it has moisture on it, uh, you know, the trucks, the tires, they, you know, they put trenches in there essentially with their tires and those fill and hold water inside there. Uh, and that's just no good. So we're doing this uh, step by step and trying to keep pushing forward. And uh, so I get more developments this week. I'll keep you posted.